friends this is amrita choudhary from class 8 today we are going to discuss the chapter crop production and management all living organism require food for their survival we require food for the development growth and repairing ourselves we require food for getting the energy and from protecting ourselves from the diseases not all organisms can make their own food only the green plants can make their own food which is known as the autotrophic organisms the food that is prepared by the plant is eaten by the animals so the non green plants and other organisms can't make their own food so they are known as the heterotrophic animals so friends the human consume the different parts of a plant so now what are the sources of the uh, food the first is seed not all the seeds are consumed by the humans just like the lemon seeds and apple seeds are not consumed by the uh, humans so they are not edible the edible seeds includes the cereals pulses oil seeds and nuts so first cereals cereals are the sources of the carbohydrates they include the crops just like the wheat barley maize and the many crops that gives us carbohydrate the second is pulses pulses are the excellent source of protein which gives us the protein and includes the grams the third is oil seeds oil seeds gives us oil fatty acid and fat it includes the sun flour and mustard the next category is that nuts the nuts are the good source of protein and the fatty acid so they are considered as the extremely energetic food it includes some cashews so the next is that fruits fruits are the special parts of a plant which are the swellums or and ripen ovaries it includes the apple pomegranate grapes and many fruits the next is vegetables the vegetables also come in a different forms and the first is root the roots that are eaten as the form of vegetables are beetroot radish turnip the next is stem stem is also eaten as the vegetable which includes the onions potatoes ginger garlic the next is the leafy vegetables it includes the spinach and cabbage the next is fruit vegetable which includes the tomato and brinjal the fodder crop the fodder crops are the crops that gives the green fodder to the cattle just like oat the other crops that are the cotton chocolate coffee tea are used for the commercial uses is agriculture the word agriculture is derived from the greek word agri and culture where agri means a piece of a land and culture means to cultivate it so the agriculture is the rearing and the cultivation of the livestock so there are different types of categories of the agriculture so first is agronomy the science and the study of growing the plants is known as the agronomy the next is aquaculture the aquaculture is rearing of the aquatic plants and animals now horticulture horticulture is the uh, culture of growing the fruits and the flower plants so the next is crops over 20000 species are cultivated for the edible purpose so there are three different types of crops which are categorized based on the seasons the first is kharif crop which is known as the monsoon crop or the rainy crop it is grown in the month of july or june and harvested in the october or september it requires the warm and wet climate it includes the rice and the maize crop 
The second type is the Ravi crop. It is known as the winter crop as it is grown in the September or October and harvested in the March or April. It includes the wheat. It requires wet, uh, sorry, dry and cold climate. The third is Zayat crop. The Zayat crop is grown in the summer season. It requires the wet and warm climate. It includes the seasonal vegetables and the fruits. Now, what can we do for growing the crops? We require a piece of a land, some nutrition, seeds and water to grow a proper crop. So, first step including to grow a crop, crop is the first is preparation of soil. The preparation of soil includes two parts, which is the plowing or tilling, and the next is leveling. The loosening of a soil is known as the plowing or tilling. It is done by a plow, which is made up of an iron or a wood. So now, why do we require the, the plowing or tilling? It loosens the soil and helps the plant's roots to penetrate deeper into the soil and it well makes the nutrition and equally distribute over the soil. Now after the plowing, the large crumbs of soil are left. To make the land smoother, we require a leveler which is 1.8 meter long to 2 meter long. So now we have prepared the soil. So the next is the soil which is the most important part of the crop production. So the it also includes the two parts which is selecting the seeds and sowing the seeds. So the first selecting the seeds. The undesirable seeds are the lighter than the desirable seeds. So the desirable seeds uh, sink in the water and undesirable seeds floats on the water. So, in this process, we can separate the good seeds and the undesirable seeds. The seeds are, can be free of insects and pets. So, the next part of the sowing is the uh, sowing of the seed. It includes two uh, processes which is broadcasting or by manual. By manual, it is the seeds are thrown different parts of an field. So, what are the disadvantages of the manual process? That uh, some parts of an, the, a land are uncovered by the seeds, and some parts of a land is highly concentrated with seeds. So, it, it the first is the wastage of land. If the if the seeds are grown too closer. And if the seeds are grown too far, it is a waste of a land. So if the seeds are on the top of the soil, it can be eaten by the birds. And if it is too deep, the seed could not germinate inside the soil. The next is broadcasting. Broadcasting is a process where a, this type of instrument which cultivates the land and what are the advantages of it is that it distributes the seeds in the same manner as it is doing and it sow the seeds in the proper depth so it can be eaten by the birds and can easily be germinated. So friends, in this video, we have discussed that uh, why do we need food, what are the sources and the sources of the plant that are eaten by the humans. The next is agriculture. So what is an agriculture and what are the different parts of an agriculture. The next is crop. What are the three different types of crops and when they are grown. The preparation of soil. Well, it includes two methods which is plowing or tilling or larding. The next is sowing. The sowing includes the selecting of the seeds and sowing the seeds. So friends, thank you.